Welcome to Movie Shortens. Follow us today to a 2016 South Korean horror film called The Wailing. Before we start, be aware, there are spoilers. The movie begins with the scene of a Japanese man fishing on a lake. jong gu a policeman, gets up early and his wife informs him about the death of a local woman named Cho. Over breakfast, they speculate that it could be murder. He heads to work to investigate the murder scene. As he arrives, he learns that there are two corpses and a man named hyung gu is shaking, covered in blood and a rash on the front porch. The police group moves to another building where they think Cho was killed. There is a bad smell and they discover some kind of shrine. In the woods, a man is hiking. He falls and lands at the bottom of a ditch. As he regains consciousness, he sees the Japanese man eating a dead deer. When he notices the hiker, he moves towards him. Jean Gu's partner, Sung Bak, says that there have been a lot of deaths since the Japanese man arrived a few days ago. Hyung Gu's test results have come back, and although he had been taking mushrooms, they doubt that they would have had the effect on a man. Suddenly, the power goes out. They spot a woman outside and are terrified. When they go to investigate, there is nothing there. Next day, Jung Gu wakes up from a nightmare. He fools around in the car with his wife, then tells her that he keeps having nightmares. That night, he is called to a house fire. There is a feral woman outside trying to bite people. She attacks Jung Gu, but is pulled away. Back at the station, he realizes that the woman last night was the feral woman at the house. The next day, a body is found hanging from a tree. There are three bodies found in the burned house who were stabbed to death. The hanged woman is the prime suspect. As jung Gu eats his lunch, the shop owner, Bi yong reminds him that he has told him about the Japanese man attacking a woman at the lake. She is the fair woman whose house burned down. Later, he tells sung Bak that it doesn't make sense that this is because of the mushrooms only. A woman starts to throw stones at them they try to ignore her, and Sungbok leaves to go check the local dermatologist's records. He thinks that the rash is the link. The woman moves forward and tells jong Gu that the fair woman killed all the people inside. She asks him to follow her inside and explains where the murders were committed. She says that an old woman told her the Japanese man was a ghost. jong Gu reveals that he has seen the Japanese man around, and the woman says that if you see him, it is because he is stalking you. The woman disappears, and he notices that the Japanese man eating a deer carcass. The man advances towards him, and he starts to scream. He wakes from this nightmare, and his wife tells him that their daughter, Hyo Jin, is sick. He thinks that she should go to the hospital. Later, Sung Bak and jong Gu discuss the witness in the car. The newspaper blames the mushrooms, but the dermatologist couldn't be sure. They go to see the hiker, who tells them that he suspects the recent deaths are related to his encounter. He takes them to where it happened, but suddenly it starts to rain. He shows them the Japanese man's house nearby, but he doesn't want to go with them. Suddenly, he is struck by lightning and they have to leave to take him to the hospital. The hiker's wife is at his side crying when another policeman rushes in, demanding the nurse go to see hyung Gu. He is writhing around in bed, having some kind of seizure. Blood erupts from his face and he dies. The cops go for a drink and decide to go to the Japanese man's house tomorrow. That night, Hyo Jin wakes from a nightmare. She tells her father that a strange man is banging on the door and trying to come inside. He tries to reassure that everything is okay. Next day, she seems much better, although he finds it odd that she is eating fish. His mother-in-law believes something is wrong and tells him that she will call for a shaman. At work, Sung Bak introduces his nephew, Yang Yi Sam, a deacon in training. He can translate for the Japanese man. They arrive at the house to find it empty. Yang Yi Sam keeps a lookout as they break into a room. It contains a shrine surrounded by photographs. Yang Yi Sam is attacked by a dog and they all barricade themselves in the house. The Japanese man arrives and calls off the dog. They apologize for the intrusion and leave the house. Sung Bak is convinced that the Japanese man is the criminal. He says that the pictures were before and after the victims went crazy. He reveals that he also saw pictures of Hyo Jin and found her shoe. Jong Gu returns home and asks Hyo Jin where she lost her shoe. She denies that it's her shoe and he asks if she has met the Japanese man. He demands she tells him, but she yells in his face. 
That night, he searches her room and finds a torn school book filled with sinister pictures. He checks her body and finds a rash developing on her thigh. She wakes and screams obscenities, threatening to kill all her family. His mother-in-law says that the shaman found there is a spirit in the house possessing Hyojin. They must act or there will be more death. Zhang Gu takes Yang Yi Sam to see the Japanese man again. They find that the photographs are missing. He demands to know why he came to this village and threatens to throw him in jail. He asks why that shoe was in his house and what he is doing to his daughter. He threatens him to stop what he is doing and leave this village. The Japanese man doesn't respond and so Zhang Gu smashes at the door with an axe, destroying the shrine. The dog manages to escape and attacks him, but he slaughters the dog. The Japanese man seems unperturbed. Hyo Jin is being examined by the doctor. She has a rash all over her body. The doctor reports that her symptoms are the same as the others, but they don't know what it is. The mother-in-law suggests that a ritual be performed the following day. Hyo Jin is currently at the neighbor's house, but when they go to collect her, they find that she has murdered the neighbor. After the police have investigated, Sung Bak and Zhang Gu resolve to do something about the Japanese man. The shaman arrives at the house to see Hyo Jin. He looks around outside, whistling, and discovers a dead bird inside a large vat of soy sauce. He performs a ritual to get rid of the spirit. Hyo Jin struggles and cries. Afterwards, whilst everyone prays, the man says that Zhang Gu disturbed an evil spirit. When Zhang Gu tells him about the Japanese man, he says that he is a ghost, and if nothing is done, then the ghost will threaten everyone. He will perform a death hex the following day. Meanwhile, the Japanese man makes preparations for his own ritual. He takes a photograph of another infected body and returns to his house. As the death hex is performed, Hyo Jin starts to scream. Her parents try to hold her down, and the Japanese man comes under attack. He crawls from his house, and Hyo Jin convulses. Zhang Gu suddenly has second thoughts and stops the ritual. Hyo Jin is taken to the hospital, and Zhang Gu goes to the church to speak to the priest. The priest advises that they trust the doctor. Zhang Gu asks Yang Yi Sam to accompany him to the Japanese man's house, again to see if there's a ghost. If he is a ghost, then he won't be able to kill him. He goes to see Biang Gu, and they assemble a mob to go with them. They arrive at his house and see the aftermath of his ritual. Meanwhile, the Japanese man goes back to look at the body, but sees that it is not there. One of the mob members sees a figure in the woods and alerts the others. It is the guy that the Japanese man was looking for. His face is disfigured, and he speaks in grunts. They manage to beat him off, but not before he bites Yang Yi Sam's face. The Japanese man is watching from a distance, and suddenly, the man convulses and falls to the ground, dead. They spot the Japanese man and give chase, but he eludes them. Zhang Gu breaks down in tears, but doesn't realize that the man is hanging from the cliff only some meters away. The Japanese man is also crying with pain. Beneath him, he sees a woman watching him. He pursues her while the mob returns home. They almost have an accident, and suddenly, something hits the windscreen from above. It is the bloodied body of the Japanese man. They dispose of the body and continue home. From above, the woman is watching. The shaman states that the rat fell into the trap. Zhang Gu goes to see Hyo Jin in the hospital. They think it's over, and they all go home. As they put the girl to bed, the shaman rings, but his call is ignored. That night, Yang Yi Sam receives a call from the police about his uncle Sung Bak. He has killed his landlady, and now is laying in his apartment covered with the rash. The shaman is on his way to see Zhang Gu, when he suddenly starts to bleed from his nose and vomits. The woman appears and tells him to leave. He returns to his shrine to pray, but as his candles extinguish, a bird flies into the room and it convulses on the floor. Zhang Gu arrives shortly after and sees the bird. The shaman is driving away, but his car is surrounded by insects. He gets out screaming, but finds that there is nothing there. He calls Zhang Gu again, who finally answers and tells him to get back to his daughter. He says that he made a mistake and cast a hex on the wrong ghost. The woman was the evil spirit. The Japanese man is also a shaman and was trying to kill her. Zhang Gu rushes home to find his daughter is missing. He finds the woman outside and asks where his daughter is. She tells him that she has just returned home, but if he returns now, 
then his whole family will perish. She tries to convince him that the Japanese man is still alive and the demon will soon enter his house. Zhang Gu saw the demon at the house of the hung woman. Although he dismissed this as a dream, she says that it was real. Meanwhile, Yang Yi Sam finds the Japanese man performing a ritual. He asks to see his true form, believing it to be that of the devil. The woman tells Zhang Gu to wait until the Japanese man falls into her trap. He demands to know if she is a woman or a ghost. She says that she is a woman trying to save his daughter. Hyo Jin returns home and makes her way past her family. She goes to the kitchen and eats hungrily. She spies a knife on the drainer. The shaman calls Zhang Gu and instructs him not to let the woman tempt him. He must go to his daughter now. Meanwhile, she accuses the shaman of being in league with the Japanese man. Eventually, he decides to return home as the woman screams no. The Japanese man tells Yang Yi Sam that he should touch his hand as ghosts do not have flesh. The Japanese man takes a photograph of him. Yang Gu arrives home and finds the kitchen has been destroyed. There is blood everywhere. He sobs before finding his wife's body. Hyo Jin approaches and he calls her name. The Japanese man continues to take photographs as he metamorphosizes into a demon. Yang Yi Sam cries in terror as the demon cackles. The shaman arrives at the house and sees Hyo Jin at the door. He walks past her and takes pictures of the bodies of the family. From the back of his car, he produces all the other photographs from the Japanese man's house. Zhang Gu is lying on the floor and swears to his daughter that he will take care of everything. Like and subscribe to watch more videos like this. And don't forget to turn on your notifications. That really helps my channel. Thanks for watching.